Some exciting news today, Adobe has launched a new version of Adobe Captivate 2019. So if you are running 11.8.0, you're eligible for the upgrade. This is a Windows only update. There will be a Mac OS update in the not too distant future. If you are on software as a service or subscription model, this update's available for you. So if you wanna get this update, click on the help dropdown menu and check for updates. You can check your current version of Adobe Captivate by clicking on about Adobe Captivate. And this will tell you your version number here. I've already done the update. As you can see here, this has brought me to 11.8.1.219. Some of the benefits of this update is that features like, for example, text animation, which were not compatible with HTML5, have been removed. And of course, when you're selecting media from your toolbar, no longer will you be importing uh, obsolete animation files. You can only select Adobe Animate or Zip HTML files. And if you choose the other type of animation, you'll only be able to choose GIF files. In addition, there's some new assets in the Asset Store. Probably the biggest difference you'll notice is in, in the preview and the publishing icons. So when you preview, only the HTML5 options will be available to you. And when you publish to computer, no longer will there be buttons for SWF and HTML. Everything will be HTML from this point moving forward. One of the other benefits of this update is an increased number of text-to-speech voices available for you to use. So if you go into the speech management window, you'll see a much longer list of voices now provided by Reed Speaker instead of the old Neo speech.